made it to uh, Karvitsa. We, we've had a long day. Arrived yesterday. Everybody, actually this time around we kind of had a, some rough flights, but eventually everybody made it in. Uh, got some rest last night. Showed up today for media today. Uh, normal thing, lots of pictures and videos. Then we were able to set up, do our normal thing, um, set it up, make sure we're checking all of our gear, things are working in line, so we're prepared, ready to go tomorrow, and uh, less issues there. And uh, did a little bit of screaming, just kind of lining everything out. And we're uh, feeling pretty good. Things are in pretty good shape. Expectation-wise, we've been a lot more consistent recently. Again, we we've change up our style of play quite often compared to other teams and we did so again recently um, and we had we had some growing pains it took a while to get lined out we had some bad results in some online events uh, while we were switching kind of in the process of learning the new style that we wanted but at the end of it we are much more consistent than we we've, we've ever been so I do feel pretty good about tomorrow I think that uh, we should be able to have a strong showing tomorrow Day one, it's snowing and cold outside, and it's probably gonna be even colder inside the arena. You are such a miserable old man, dude. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you say you say that about me. You're gonna be the one down there with the hand warmers, like, oh my god, it's so cold in here. Come prepared, man. Yeah, you're gonna play in gloves, uh huh? I, I can see that happening. That team that they either do amazingly well, like get a lot of frags and, and cup on top of the leaderboards, or they just fall off short. Like they've had uh, quite not consistent uh, results on the online performance leagues. A couple of members of TSN, they're gone for a 2 2 split, which is another thing we'll get to uh, in a little while. The circle has shrunk once again and it's very much centered on Novo. So Novo going to be the focus now and a lot of people heading that way. TSM also have a uh, break and I think it's Vist that's actually swimming across it. Maybe Smack, I'm not sure. Aim, aim is way down south. So TSM win. gone for a big split. See break and smack outside of blue right now swimming, so they're going to be struggling a bit because you can't heal underneath well, this the is water. The, so the fourth circle about to yeah, hit. that's going to hurt. The next one's going to start hurting for them. Smack and break go down in the play zone. We talked about they went for a two-two split early on. They were very late moving in, which means obviously there was no vehicles. We saw just uh, MPR get down, so 12th place for TSM. They actually finished, uh, so none of them are alive. Circle. Going into our last and final game for today, of course, as we will have four more games joining you for tomorrow. Joining me once again, Toffees and Avenger. If you go into day number two being 12, 10, then you're going to have a hot time and you're going to be challenged for tomorrow. You're playing catch up. You don't want yes. it. They've got the clean loot of Yasnaya. No one really challenging for that yet or pushing towards it. You are, he will fall. But now it's the time of Kinguin. They are put to the sword. So many bodies, so many deaths. Proppy, he goes down. This as well, he hits the floor. Break does finally go down the... And here comes the blue. This is the bloodbath. Smack actually finds one, but can they make it out? You've got to go now. And Optic won it all themselves. Being able to bounce back from these games in Battle Royale, the thing is, as a team, we know that there's going to be bad games when you play Battle Royale. That's the reason there's eight games. But really, the biggest thing is just knowing we have more games and doing our best to just improve on each one and come back. Like getting down on ourselves very early, or just getting down at all, it really doesn't help you whatsoever. Going into day two, I feel pretty good. I think we just need to make like, a few small adjustments. We're in striking distance of first place. We definitely could still get back there. We need, we need a few people to maybe not do quite as well, but we definitely can get back to that spot. 
And bear in mind, these teams are chomping at the bit to get this started, edging ever closer to the final games. We are starting to see a real, I guess, stride in the right direction. Grenades coming out from McCoy. Proppy's got to dodge that one. They're going to go both to the right hand side. It's going to force TSM to dodge to the left. TSM lighting up phases as they try and make the move across. As TSM now need to worry about Ghost up behind them. TSM is just going to really come out, but they're a four man squad still. They find themselves the vehicle, looking towards the white, and they can shoot straight through. APR taking down to nothing. Smack gets knocked. Quicks to jumps around. The Ghost are just lighting TSM up there. They're going to get themselves one, two. They find break. TSM get destroyed. And Ghost Gaming take the chicken dinner. It's down to game number eight. Do we now have the potential of people hunting down a Vanguard? Ooh, I just got word that we can take a look at the standings okay. here. So let's check this out because this means a lot going into our final game. It's time now to get game number eight underway here for the PUBG Invitational as it's one final opportunity for people to get placements. TSM having to be careful. There are players present, and this is in the middle of the road. Not the place to be right now, Viz. Get running, buddy. Get on out of there. But it's Smack to take the bullets. But Papaya, not so sweet right now, taking out Smack, and TSM are in trouble. And look Reach. at the rest oh, of his team coming dear. over. This is a caged animal. I don't think he's got any gun yet, but he's just staying alive, cowering in the corner. He gets spotted, oh. and there it is, the execution. Impiado takes one on to Jazza, but he does get answered back. Break outside the circle. Where else would you expect him to be? Bawaka takes out breaks. That's another kill from them. TSM, they're gone. There was no way for us to predict what happened in the eighth game, but I think we could have played seventh a little bit better. Seventh game could have been a little bit better than, um, than 16th. Um, a little bit disappointed. We played somewhat consistent. We had good, good placements the entire tournament. And just that the t two last matches were kind of sour. I think we've come pretty far as a team, but we made some major mistakes today. Some rookie mistakes, unfortunately. We just got to try to learn from what we've done today and uh, improve. Initial feeling, um, obviously disappointed. Wanted to do better than what we did. As a team, I think we're pretty consistent, but we need to practice uh, a few a few details that we've been avoiding. We know what we did. We talked about it already. We're not happy with how things went, but um, I mean, even the best teams have some bad days sometimes, so we're just going to have to stay focused and uh, look forward to the next one. We seem to be able to do the complicated things, but then not the, not the simple things. It's the simple things we're messing up on. Disappointed, but at the same time, I just know the best way to go about this is learn from your experience, learn from your mistakes, take what you can from that, and move on, especially because we got Star Series coming up. 